Hello and welcome. This is Rachel at Lamb. We're going to be painting our um, forest using tape. We're using the tape method. So this is what we're going to be attempting to paint today. This was, I made this last week and I thought it came out pretty good. Kind of looks like a nice aspen forest. Okay, so in your kit that I sent to you, if you picked up your kit, is going to have a bag that has the black paint in it and a bag that has the white paint in it. And then um, you have one foam paintbrush and one detail paintbrush. So we'll need both of these. And then you'll have your canvas. Your canvas has six different pieces of masking tape on it. We're gonna use those to make the trees. So um, I'll show you how this all works. Um, right now, if you hear any other voices, I have my, my two coworkers, Lise and Beth are here and they're both going to be painting with us. So if you have any questions, please just post them in the uh, chat, in the, in the comment section and I can answer them for you. So let's, first off, um, the type of paint we're using is acrylic paint. So it's, it's water washable. Um, the, I would suggest you put down some newspaper because this could get messy. You don't want the black paint everywhere. Um, and also maybe put on a dirt, a grubby t-shirt or an apron, something to protect you from getting covered in paint. <laughs> so, um, with your paint, this is going to be in the little baggies. I would suggest you, um, take some scissors and cut a hole in the bottom, kind of like it's like a pastry bag and just put the paint in there. Cause opening it might just make a big mess. Um, I'm going to put some black in my, my own cup. And then some whites. The white we don't really need as much because it's just for the detailing. Because the trees are going to be made out of the the paint, the tape, sorry. So as you can see, we're going to get a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have your paint ready, working yeah it's good. looks yeah, looks like the idea. looks like my idea worked thankfully <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time doing something like this but let's see oh yes um abriel this this will be saved in the videos um so if you want to see this view this again it will be in the video section on both of our facebook pages and on the youtube so they'll be saved for if you can't watch it right now or if you want to watch it for the future or if you missed something. So now we have this canvas. I didn't know how to transfer the tape, so I decided to do it this way. How we have to do it is take each piece off because we need to open the canvas up. Um, so try to save carefully untape it. And you can put your piece of tape like on the side of your table. Don't, yeah, don't let it curl up or get lost because the tape is important to our painting. I kind of like that noise too, so there you go. Kind of a sad mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> And if you have a tape fail, like it's okay. You could maybe make your. Oh, seriously? You could make your um, tree shorter or have less trees. Because <laughs> this is this is the part that I was like, this is going to be interesting, but we'll see. No matter what, we're going to make a cute little forest. There you go. Happy little trees. 
This is my favorite part, actually. It's kind of <laughs> funny. All right. So now that I've got my tape off, and if you're still getting your tape off, that's fine. This has a little plastic covering on it. We have to get that off. So let me see if I can. I don't know if you have your scissors or, or it might be easier. But get away to, like, pull off this plastic covering. And then make sure you're on the right side of the canvas. It's gonna be the more rough side. So can you get that paint? Okay. So now you have your canvas ready. We'll go to the first step of creating our trees. My, my, Tape kind of got stuck together. So we'll take your one piece of tape. So you can do any way you want a tree that goes kind of sideways, you want one straight, just put it anywhere on there. I'd suggest just leaving the ends up because you're gonna have to pull it off. So I'm gonna have my tree like kind of close to the edge. You don't have, you can put it anywhere. Like I said, it's up to you and how you want your trees to look. They're all unique to you. So I'm gonna do one that's kind of bendy. Just like tape it down. And if you want less trees, if you don't want six, you don't have to do six. If you want, want to be shorter, you can make them shorter. Oh no, the tape's curling up. Mm, I don't know my, I can't decide how I want my trees to look. That's what makes each one unique. And yeah, just place your trees and make sure just to like let it make sure it's like smooth down on there. But don't do the ends because we have to pull this up and it's going to be difficult to pull it up after we put the paint down. If we push it down on the table, Let's see, it's curling. We're having fun here, it's, so if you're having any issues, don't get. Frustrated. Yeah, my tape is curling. This is when the artistry has to come in, I suppose. Um, Sarah, so there was a sign up for this event, um, and we, I think it's closed now. But I'm, I have some extra kits. But you can always call us at Lam or um, find the our website. Call us at Lam, and we can put one together for you. Let me see. All right, I got my six tapes down. Is that one not going to work for you? <laughs> five, five, is good. <laughs> five made it. You have five trees, please. <laughs> Somehow, all six of my trees are here. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like a tree, kind of like it got chopped down. Sapling. You're good. It's a sapling. That's yes. right. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. So if you have all of your tape down. Like um, Lisa and Beth, Beth, can I see yours so I can show them? Wow. You're doing great. This is the fun part. As Beth, see, she has a little, so if you have one of these, you're all good. It's gonna look cute. It's gonna look like a, a little cut down tree. All right. So first step is the black paint. So. You'll use your foam, your thicker foam paintbrush. And you're just gonna get some paint on there. I'm not, I, I feel like I gave you guys a lot of black cause I wasn't sure how much we needed, but really you don't need too much. Cause it's gonna, the, this canvas like pulls it in really fast. So we'll just start 
painting over the white. Don't be afraid to paint onto the paint onto the tape. It will be okay, but just mostly just paint right on the white, as you can see right there. And you can do a little a layer at a time, like just one brush down through each white part, and then you can go back over it. To make sure it gets a nice dark black. Did you put more than one layer on? Yes, on the one that, uh, I think it was two layers on the one that I finished last week. And it dries pretty fast. Like I was surprised by how fast it dries because we want to leave it for a second to dry before we pull up the paint because we don't want it to like bleed or get all weird. So I'm going to put a second layer on here and I'm just doing an upward and downward stroke so that it's just the same, like up, down on the trees. And then after you get the two layers on there, we can let it sit for a little bit before we pull up the tape and see how our trees came out. Um, yeah, Sarah, you can find all of the upcoming live events that we're doing um, on the calendar on pueblolibrary.org and Rachel I'm not sure about the link but um, like I said if you want um, to participate and get a kit like call us at LAM because um, I know there, that I had signups and they they got full and the link might not work anymore because of that I've got a little bit of I'm I'm looking for perfection. That's that's my problem right now. <laughs> but you don't need perfection. These are going to be happy and cute, cute trees. That's what we want. Happy trees. Make sure it's not stuck on there. It's how is everybody else coming along? If you're participating, you can leave a comment and let me know how it's going or if you're missing something or if I'm going too fast, just um, comment and then I can know what to, or if you have any questions or anything, just put them in the comments. We'll need the black, so don't get rid of it. We need it for, um, as you can see, we're doing the, we have to do the little bark. We gotta make the bark. Oh, thank you, Alicia. That's so great. It makes me happy. Oh, I think I needed to put some black over on this corner. I missed a spot. Oh no. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. So yeah, we're gonna let the paint dry a little bit. And yes, as Lori said, we will have another craft um, next month. I'll have another live craft. I'm going to be teaching about um, crystal wrapping, wire wrapping crystals to make necklaces. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for it.
And I'm also going to be making a to-go kit craft that's um, not going to have a live video, but I'm going to make a video for it for a coconut sugar scrub. Glad to hear it, Cecilia. And it looks like our YouTube is working, so that's good. Okay, so. I'm always a little bit quick to do it because I'm anxious to see what it looks like. <laughs> but I want to make sure it's like, like I don't want to too quick how's yours looking is it looking kind of dry it's yeah. starting to dry but like you said i'm ready to peel butt teeth <laughs> <wait another minute. laughs> i always just want to do it okay Yeah, I think we're pretty much good. So I'm going to slowly start pulling one at a time. Yes, that's exactly Very what I needed. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It makes it really look like a tree. I'm like, whoever came up with this is brilliant. It's work on your own and everything, too. Yeah. The things you can do with tape. <laughs> you don't do. <laughs> My little one didn't come out good, but it was worth a try. It's unique. <laughs> I kind of like how it bled in a little bit because that kind of like looks, yeah, like you said, the roughness of the bark. Mm -hmm. And when it's we good. do the bark, it's going to just all blend in. Mm hmm. Fancy. Um, this project is for the summer reading program. Adult, it's an adult craft for summer reading, so it was geared towards adults. So now that we have our trees, as you can see, these beautiful white, I'm trying to think of the word. What's the word? The <laughs> void. <laughs> the, there's a word for what we did that we, the white isn't actually white paint. It's just the canvas, but we use the, there's a word for it. But I, I here I am not, it. I'm not using my words. But here we, here we are with our, we have the detail paintbrush because now we're going to use the black paint because we're going to wait a little bit to do our limbs until the other black is a little less wet. But for now, let's start with the black paint and our detail brush. And we're going to do, like I said, we're going to make like little bark accents to make it look more like an aspen. So here you kind of just do whatever you think looks good. Um, you want to make little knots. You can make little knots. So we're going to just, so to make like a knot, you do a circle and then maybe a little, can you see what I did? See? Okay, I like that. That's um, like an eye on the, on the aspen. Kind of like that. Where the branch was. Yeah. I'd like to see your picture one more time. I can see it from one picture. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just doing like, I don't know, like little lines. This, de this detail paintbrush is nice. Do some little lines. 
and like you said, some knots. Just whatever you think like a aspen would look like or whatever tree. This might not be an aspen, maybe it's our fantasy tree because that's our theme for summer reading is imagine your story. So it, whatever you think. So after I'm done, then I can actually paint a dragon flying in the back. Yes. Yeah. So right we could, on. we could, like we could put a dragon, we could put a gnome in there. Okay. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's your imagination. You can do whatever you want. Or if you want just to put a regular bird in the tree, you can put a bird in there. Fire. <laughs> yeah, a perfect bird that breathes fire. <laughs> As you can see, I'll get this a little closer. I'm just making it look more like a tree. Some knots, some just anything you want. You could make they they could be eyes like maybe it's a like a creature like tree beard you yeah could do a face. there could be a face mm -hmm. this tree is looking at you. Really, as I said, it's about just relaxing and having fun. So don't, if you make a mistake, it's not a mistake. It's a happy accident, just like Bob Ross said. And yeah. you can just make it into something. Make a little face. I yeah. do feel like I was taking it too seriously, like trying to make a masterpiece right away. Yeah, no, it, don't it take it seriously. Cool. You don't need, it's, it's your masterpiece. <laughs> I kind of like how my eyes are coming out. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> oh, yours looks nice too, Beth. I kind of want to do a face. And I know I, if it doesn't come out right. I know, like, we can never do this again, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we can't do another one. <laughs> Just, yeah, right. <laughs> just make a face. Do it. Just, now I gotta pick which tree I want to make a face. I'm done. Yeah, April, this is so relaxing. I agree. Dude, this is really fun. What a great idea. I'm like, I'll have to do more of these. I love painting, so. I'll have to visualize it before I put it down. Another thing we can do with that white paint is I might do stars in the background. Oh yeah, you could make stars in the background. It does look kind of like trees by the campfire. And also, like, like you said, you could add after if you had like yellow paint, you could make it be aspens in the fall. Yeah. And make the beautiful yellow leaves. Oh, that's a good idea. But really, this is like just. Yeah, and then you can make your trees whatever you want with your extra creativity or imagination. Mine look a lot like eyes now, so I'm pretty much going with for it. It's like a creepy little forest just staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like at nighttime when you're in the forest. Yeah.
How's everybody's um, trees coming along? Are they looking good? Ours look good. I'm, I wanted to hear how everyone online is doing. Oh, yours looks staying? so good. Uh, well, Avril said it's relaxing, and Kira said that my first tree looks like it has a face. And yes. Neato. Yes. I really like how your lines are coming out, too. Thank you. And, Thank you. Your, and your little nub of a tree looks yeah. good, too. <laughs> You can bring it over. You can bring it over and show everybody. Why is my mouth stuck? Let's see. And this is there's my Lisa's, tree. As I'm, you can see, it has a little nubby one. And I'm going to put stars in the back, I think. Yes. But, oh, show Rachel's with the, I mean, uh, that's with the face on it. No, needs more detail. Oh, he actually has a face. That's perfect. Look, it's the old man in the tree. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> can people online show pictures of theirs on the comments? They can probably, I think they can share a picture on there. That's one thing about live. I'm like, I wish I could see I what everybody else is doing, but <laughs> I'm sure you all look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I have the, like, if I put too much paint on there, it gets too thick. And then I'm like, wait, I put too much paint. So I'm trying to, like, keep it a little less paint so then I can do a lighter line. And more delicate hand, I guess. I'm like softly touching. Yeah, and if you guys. If you guys do add extra things like the leaves or some creatures or anything like that, just take a picture and share it with us so that we can see what you created. Um, or even if you just do it this way, I'd love to see how it all came out because this is really cool. Great job, Alicia. I'm sure yours are looking great. And as you can see, this is, I'm like, I, I'm not a painter, but this is something mm -hmm. that's so easy and fun just to do. Especially as a group, it's mm -hmm. fun. This is a good idea for a little party. Mm -hmm. Like if, uh, someone wanted to do this I don't doesn't have to be with their kids it could be with their friends or anyone yeah this is really a good idea Yeah, I have a lot of eyes on mine. <laughs> He's just staring at everybody. Maybe I'll put a little cemetery in the back and it can be pet cemetery or something. Oh, good. Yeah, I like that idea. Like a Stephen King. Stephen King vibe to it or something. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just make it your own unique little thing. And then um, now that the other black is starting to dry, we can start putting the white on to make some branches. If you, if you don't want to put any branches, you don't have to. It all depends on what you want. Um, 
your trees to look like. But that's what we're going to use the white paint for. And that's my eye trees. See? Oh, I like it. <laughs> well, that they are really eyes, like. huh? Oh, I like how Beth did that stump, did a broken top to it. I need to do that, I think, on my yeah, little one. Yeah, yours looks very nice. You guys are very imaginative. Like, we don't even have a picture of trees, and they look like trees. Mm -hmm. Look at us. We know what trees look like <laughs> from memory. <laughs> we know Aspen in Colorado. The trees have eyes. That's the name of it. Okay. Are you starting the branches? Oh, okay. So, yeah, for to start the branches, you're going to have to clean off your brush. That's why I have this water here because I'm going to get rid of the black. And if, if you're still using the black and doing your trees, don't worry. Don't rush it. Make it whatever you want. I'm just going to start showing you how to make a branch. So, yeah, just wash that black paint off, dry off your brush, and then now we'll go into the white. And this is kind of, like I said, just do whatever you want. So you'll take the white and you'll just pull it up. You know, just start pulling it up to look like branches coming out. And they can look however you think the branches should look. There's no guideline, but that's how I'm doing mine. As you can see. Just kind of pull it up. And you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. If you try to do eyes or stars, don't put too much white on the paintbrush because then you get globs. So I have to try to erase mine. Uh oh. Oh no. That's easy. I've got plenty of black. <laughs> oh yeah, now that we you can paint the black over the white if right. you if you messed up, because I think I gave enough black that you can cover it. So Beth, if um, it says you had difficulty locating the program. So if the links aren't working from Facebook, you can always go straight to our um, website, pueblolibrary.org, and go to the live calendar of events, the, the calendar of events for live programs, and they should um, have every program that's going to be live, and you can sign up for them from the website. But thank you for watching. I'm kind of liking how my limbs are coming out. <laughs> They're not bad. Limbs are always hard. Mm hmm Are you doing your stars? Well, no. <laughs> look, I'm making these little eyes, and I tried to do little hands. <laughs> oh, is it creepy? Yeah. Trying to make it creepy. <laughs> like, this could be a good Halloween project. Yeah. Yeah. A dark forest.
did you want for each season? You mm-hmm. know, have them lined up on your yeah. On your you could map. have like the winter one, the fall one, spring. I'm sure, you could do it with other colors in black too, like yeah. in the background. It's true. I like this. Make it daytime. Mm-hmm. Because people can celebrate seasons by okay, now it's my spring one, and that's yeah. the spring one, and. This would, that's a good idea. It would be nice to do one with like a kind of light blue background mm-hmm. and then you'd put the yellow um the yellow leaves on there and it would look really really beautiful. But like to be able to make a painting just from using tape tape, like anybody could do this. Mm-hmm. Dude, this is fun. I'm gonna do more of these. They look, mine look like little hands, they look like little claws. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, my, mine is more minimalist, I guess. Oh, no, that's fine. Each person has their own style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There'll be a point where I'm like, well, I added too much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding and then be like, wait, wait, I should have stopped. <laughs> Start where it looks good, Steve. Oh no, I'm sorry, the the video is not working. But um, as Lori said, it will be recorded and saved in the vid- video, so you can re-watch it later if you can't see it now. This is calming. I know, I'm like, I really like it. This is nice. Relax, relax. My trees look pretty cute. How's everybody coming along who's doing this at home? I'm going to put some delicate ones too, some lighter ones. I'm glad to hear it's going good for you, Cecilia. So I'm going to get some more black on mine and go a little bit, like, put a little bit of black onto my my branches, actually. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. (laughs) You know, like I said, I'm just... Yeah, you know. Can do whatever to make... It look whatever you want it to look like. Oh, man. Let's see the better ones. Mm-hmm. 
I like how it's two colors, so if I make a mistake and make something too wide, I can narrow it down with the black again. Yeah, <laughs> just keep covering it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad I put extra black in there, so if you do need to erase to something that you it. don't <laughs> think looks right, you can always do that. So can we get these paints and these little canvases at just about any store? Like if we were going to yeah. do this in a group and pick some stuff up? Yeah, you can get um, the paint and canvas probably at Joanne's Hobby Lobby. You can, I think these canvases actually came from Amazon and they came in like a 12 pack. So you can get a 12 pack of these little canvases. Um, and yeah, this is just the Apple Barrel acrylic. So it's like... You can get this everywhere, even okay. Walmart probably. Okay. Hmm. I don't like how mine looks. Not bad. Nice. Oh, that looks good. I like how minimal yours is. Yeah, though. it is very, but at the same time, for some reason I like it. I came out good for me. Yeah, yeah I think I it's mean, cute. Absolutely. And you've got little stars. Those are little eyes. Look. Oh, there's peeking out the little creatures. Mm -hmm. Let me see. See what Lisa did, look how beautiful. You can see there's tiny little eyes of the little creatures in the forest. <laughs> there I love there? this, this this needs frames, you need to put this up. I am gonna save it forever, believe me. This yeah. Is, this is fun. <laughs> Adorable. Let me see this one. Oh, show them this one. Let me see yours, Beth. That looks awesome. I decided to stop while I was ahead. <laughs> oh, yay. Look at that. That is cool. Look at her limbs too. See, everybody used the same supplies, but like the wear came out just to look yeah. like our own unique same ones. Same supplies, same directions, and everybody yeah, right. same different. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. I want to see how the, the people online did theirs. I really hope they post their pictures. Yeah. I'd, we'd love to see your pictures if you post them to the comments or... Um, on our Facebook page so we can see them. Oh, I got paint all over me. <laughs> That's the fun part. Yeah. And the fact that it's acrylic and washes right up. <laughs> yes. Does anybody have any other questions or anything before we end the broadcast? Because I feel like if, there, if you're missing anything or if there's any details I missed, just write a comment so I can answer you. Um, like we said, we'd love to see the pictures of your finished project um, and just let us know how it went and if um, there's any ideas of how we could do it better next time or just comments and we'll get to you. I'm like, if I keep doing it, I'm gonna fill it, <laughs> but I feel like, <laughs> I like I should save this and then maybe I'll add some leaves or something to it later. But I'm pretty happy with how mine come out. I really like how your um, limbs look on yours, Beth. It looks really cool. Thanks. I really like how this is something we can do as a group party. I mean, this felt like a little party. Yeah, this it really did. A little party. Awesome. Thank you, Alicia. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming, and hopefully uh, we'll have more of these. Thank you, April.
And thank you, Lori. And did you guys have fun? I had a ball. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, Lisa and I can't wait to Beth are really next. happy about it. <laughs> thank you, Linda. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, um, G Jeannie says that Dollar Tree has paint canvases too. So oh, good. If you want to get them. Yeah. All of this is like easy and um, cheap supplies. So like, yeah, you can do it at home. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think yeah. I'm going to have some friends together and do this. You I should. Have, yeah, you really should. Fun. Thank you. All right. Unless there's any more questions. Um, thanks for coming. It was really great. I'm like, this was my first live and first like craft really as the program and outreach coordinator here for the adults. So I'm pretty excited. I'm glad that you guys liked it and enjoyed it. So, and hope to see you next time. And what's our next one, our next live one? Um, next live will be um, wire wrapping crystals. So if you've ever been interested in that, I can show you some different techniques. I've always wanted to learn that. Mm -hmm. Make some necklaces. I've made earrings, but you can do everything. Thank you, Alicia. All right. You guys have a great day and a wonderful weekend. And just, like I said, comment um, your pictures or anything so that we can see how you did. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.